Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Monkey League. I'm here with Jason. We're going with Hi, all everyone. Ohio commentary today uh, on uh, on your Monkey League match. Uh, brought to you by the cubicle and by laser monkey of course i'm glad to see you guys all in the chat i hope to see some energy today for our all kentucky matchup between luke greiser and lucas Etter. imagine that two of the monkey league competitors are from the same u.s state well that's what we've got here kentucky strong and uh we're hoping for some good solves today. You know, both these competitors uh, still with a chance to qualify for the grand finals, but they're going to have to uh, go all out here. These are the two competitors at the bottom of the standings. They've both lost two matches so far um, out of two. Yeah, so this should be a should be a good match. Uh, Lucas obviously has a little bit more sort of experience competing at the top level, but uh, Luke is one of the young up-and-coming cubers. I remember actually... Uh, Back in the day when Luke and I averaged the same, about the same, not anymore, unfortunately <laughs> for me. But yeah, yeah, I, I used to be able to beat Luke pretty easily, uh, but I, I think nowadays it might might be pretty difficult for me to uh, to get a win in. Well, uh, we've got the match here. Uh, you know, this is this is of course the standard league format, first to fifteen regular season. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it here. The competitor's about to start. Um, yep. Yo, thank you so much, Johnny, for the Twitch Prime. Much love for the host, competitors, judges, and all else involved in setting up this event for us to all enjoy. Thank you so much for the sub and the kind words. Really appreciate that. Yeah, it should be an interesting match. Like uh, like Philip mentioned, uh, whoever loses this match is actually out uh, of contention for the finals. So there there is some uh, some important things riding on this match. For sure, for sure. I see some cheer, Lucas. Cheer, Luke. You guys are getting energy in the chat. Thank you so much, guys. I see some cheer for the judges. Beautiful. And let's get into the solves. Lucas Etter with his first solve. You know, he was pretty close to uh, getting a win in his last match against Matty, but uh, just couldn't quite get some key solves. And that really hurt him. Let's see how he does today. Uh, this match was rescheduled to accommodate... Uh, you know, Lucas and Luke both just competed. Oh my goodness! Luke with a 740, 742. This is a very close match right now. First solve right away. There's nothing in it between these two. Yeah, and interesting to note is that Lucas uses white cross only, and I believe Luke also uses white cross only or white yellow. Uh, so they're going to be pretty evenly matched, and we're seeing it already a pretty even matchup here. Uh, you know, when the scrambles are good for white, they're both going to fly. When they're not good for white, they're both going to struggle. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. But, yeah, this match was originally scheduled for Tuesday. I don't know why. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, you can probably hear because does your judge have... Um, uh, are you wearing headphones? Well, Lucas, uh, Luke with an 803 there. So we'll see yes, what like Lucas Phil made. mentioned, if the white cross is good, then both these cubers, we've seen both of them can get some very good times, but it might be, it, it'll be extra important for them to do well on those solves where the white cross isn't quite so good. Yeah, and Luke is throwing down a 614. So uh, somebody in the chat saying Luke Greiser is slow. You, you know, I don't think you've watched much of this, this league, <laughs> have you? Uh, <laughs> not really familiar with Luke. Uh, you don't know that he's actually a speed demon, and he could come out and win this match in dominant fashion if he wanted to. Yeah, it's hard to say somebody with a 642 official average is slow, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's uh, Leo's alt. Yeah, so Luke's doing yellow cross here. 
Uh, looks like Luke is really struggling. He didn't solve the cross correctly on that solve, so this is going to be pretty free for Lucas. Looks like both competitors struggling a lot on that scramble. Plus two. Oh, my goodness. A plus two for Lucas, and he and loses to an A47. That's rough. Um, he's going to need to not do that in the future because uh, those are really going to hurt. Whew. Well, uh, yeah, both competitors with rough. a pretty sluggish start here. Uh, plus twos can hurt. Many of you might remember the last match uh, in which Luke's last match in which he actually lost a solve against uh, Leo because of a plus two. It was a very good average, but unfortunately, a low six plus two did cost him the average. Yeah, and he had a 620, 620 average with that yeah. plus two. and Still a very you know, he, good average. but He definitely would have had something close to sub six, if not sub six without it. So plus twos do matter a lot. And Luke with an 850. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was actually a sub six average because the last solve he got a low five and was very disappointed to not have actually gotten that sub six average. Yeah, and I think Lucas is pretty much locked his his average here. Um, that that hanging ten, even with that hanging ten, he's already won the average. That just gives you an idea of how poorly Luke has done with those eights. And yeah, the eights. Uh, Lucas eights with a better single right now too. So Luke is really going to need a sub six here, or uh, or something else because I. Uh, <laughs> He's just gonna get three would right right to yeah. start. Uh, fortunately, really not showing Luke, good form. Fortunately, he has avoided the four zero. Uh, yeah, fortunately, with that point oh two victory. Yeah, yeah and, and well, the plus as well two, as the and plus the plus two. two. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can see both competitors flying through white cross high TPS solutions. Um. And Luke is going to take this one 3-0 with that 709 average and that 614 single. You know, that's that's very beatable for Luke. He's done much better than that in most of his rounds. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Lucas is going to take that, uh, but he's definitely going to have to step it up if Luke can get warmed up here. Yeah, it's also beatable for uh, Phil, uh, for uh, Lucas, of course. His, uh, yeah. his median average is actually quite good. Yeah, his median average in the league him, so far has been about 6.7. So 6.7. Uh, 709, definitely not showing his best stuff. And Luke yeah. uh, averaging about 7.11. You know, he's going to need to uh, drink some more water and get that average down if he, if he wants to have a chance against Lucas. Yeah, everyone knows that water and bananas are the key to solving well. I'm, I'm super well, Ritvik. Thank you so much for asking. Really excited to watch this match today. Two for Luke and no, Lucas that, won that. That actually makes barely, the solves like the about plus, the same oh between both of them. Gosh. Wow. So uh, we're seeing some we're seeing some uh, some hits in, you know, hitting them while they're down. That's that's rough. I mean, winning with an eight twenty three cannot feel good for Lucas. And uh, you know, Luke still looks like he just hasn't found his form. I mean, even though that was a six twenty seven before the plus two, he had a pretty slow pausing start, and that's just not characteristic for Luke. We're used to seeing him out of the gate running as fast as he can. So uh Yeah, he did make up for it a bit in the end of the solve, but then of course the very end of the solve it uh was was unfortunate to get a plus two and make the solves just about even between the two of them. Lucas is turning quite quickly here. That's that characteristic Lucas TPS. 638, yeah. going to do well for him. And, man, it looks like Luke has a lot of nerves right now or he's not warmed up because we're just seeing some uncharacteristic sluggishness from him.
course, being from the same state, this is far from their first uh, first time competing against each other. So they'll be used to uh, seeing seeing the other person next to them, hoping they can solve better. Uh, this must have been a hard scramble for White Cross. And, and that's a really interesting thing about matches when both competitors are not color neutral. They struggle on the same scrambles and they do well on the same scrambles. So it looks like the scramble set has not been favorable so far. Um, and it looks like the, the competitors are not warmed up. So uh, both factors contributing to a pretty sluggish start for both competitors, uh, but they're neck and neck with each other somehow. Slow PLL there for Luke. And Luke looks sad. Um, let's get some energy in the chat for Luke. Uh, he needs some energy. Looks like he's struggling a little bit. CN gang. Yeah, well, these competitors are not CN, but uh, I think the rest of the Monkey League competitors are. Uh, so t tune in tune in uh, another time. Oh, there's some energy. Let's, let's go. Cheer, Luke. Let's get some energy in the chat. Luke is needing a 763 here to lock. That's very doable for him. And he does have the better single right now, so... Luke is going to have to go all out here. Yeah, get, and I'm sure both these competitors will get warmed up and solve very well. But at the time being, Luke is struggling a little bit. Uh, that's going to do it for Luke. A 572 A nice five, steals that uh steals that one point for the best single but lucas with a 741 average against the 761 both competitors have to be disappointed with that luke taking a massive sip of water there and uh you know we've we've got a match here 3021 we've already got a split set and uh that's a good sign for things to come no, it's fine Right, getting the third average underway. What's good for Luke here is, uh, you know, when a new average starts, nothing that happened before matters. None of the solves are there anymore. He can just hopefully focus on the solves ahead of him and not the ones behind him. Well, uh, we're seeing flashes of, of what he left behind in his current solve. 876, tons of pauses and lockups. Hey, thanks, Langston. Appreciate the support. Wow, Lucas with a nice one. 535. Quick 535. A few pauses there, but a nice, smooth, consistent turning. And hmm? oh, okay. Okay. Looks like a Lucas overexposure issues right now. Six ninety nine. He'll take it, but uh, it's, it's probably not going to be good enough. If, uh, if Lucas can pull ahead here, that's going to be huge for him because Lucas gets better as the competition moves along. Yeah, it seems like with Lucas, he just turns faster and faster the longer he cubes. Oh, as you can see, there's five another six. five. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, and that Z perm, Lucas made it look easy, but uh, it's definitely not. 
Uh, Z perms are one of the hardest algorithms to stop and do in the middle of a solve. Um, just because yeah. of the grip, it's really hard to keep those turns where they are meant to be. Uh, you know, that when, you, when you're doing a Z perm, it kind of like flies off your fingers and it's really hard to control. Um, yeah, so, so it's especially disappointing to do something like a COLL just to get a Z perm, but <laughs> yeah, for sure. happens for every sure. once in a while. Wow, and Lucas with a plus two. Unfortunately, oh, there he was looking at three fives, but uh, that plus two. Yeah, it's a plus two. And I think he's still going to win this solve, even with the plus two. So 4 0 yeah. potential still there. Um, but that's that's really going to be uh, sad for Lucas, you know, looking to get those sub six averages. You know, yeah, it's, they're hard uh, to come by. Obviously, sad to get a plus two, but it is. It's still encouraging for him to know that the solve was in like overall is pretty good solve. So yeah, and what's really impressive is that these solvers both white cross, and Lucas solving that much better. That's got to feel uh, feel good, and it really shows Lucas's focus right now, doing pretty well. Seems to be finding better crosses, and and Luke taking an uncharacteristically long time to inspect there. Maybe trying to actually find something. Yeah, and doing a yellow cross. It... Six thirty-eight. Wow! And Lucas has already won the uh, the average best possible average of five eighty-six for Lucas. If it's he can impressive. get that five thirty-five counting, he's already won the average. He's already got the best single. So again, Luke's gonna have to go all out here to try and salvage a point. Uh, but you know, Lucas, Lucas also probably gonna go all out trying to uh, try and get that nice average. So if anyone's wondering, I believe it's a 574 he would need for a sub-6 average here. And of course, he already has the single, so unless uh, Luke can beat that here, it'll be a... It'll be another 3-0 for Lucas. But there's also a 4-0 potential here, which is important to note. Oh, and Luke's plus 2 is going to hurt him, and Lucas gets a 4-0. So that's yeah, going to be huge for, for Lucas's score there. Nine to one. I believe and, uh, that's that is a massive lead. Already got more than half the points he needs, and just a couple rounds here, and we could we could have a done match. Yeah, I believe that's actually two plus twos for both of them. Of course, one each in this average. Yeah, and I think without that without that plus two, Lucas would have had like a six o oh, six one average. Uh, yeah, so would have been quite been a good nice. average. That would have been nice. Yeah, it would have been a 607, I think. 607, yep. Well, uh, Luke has got to feel good right now, taking a huge lead, and Luke is going to have to come up clutch here. We did see him with some clutch moments against Leo, so... Yeah, uh, that is true. He should, he should have a good chance here to uh, get some points. But you know this this is kind of the last place match at the moment in the league. Like both these competitors are zero and two. You know nobody yes. wants to lose all their matches. Yes. <laughs> so crazy that both of these. This is a pretty good chance for both these competitors. Crazy that both these competitors are zero and two, considering how fast they are. I think I. Uh, wow! Remember... And Luke taking that one with a five ninety eight, starting off the average strong, and it yeah. looks like you know and same scramble, had a good similar too. strat, and Luke was just that smidgen better but uh it's not really going to matter in the grand scheme of things other than denying the 4-0 or potentially a 4-0 for luke which would be an incredible that would be a first step in a in a big comeback for sure for sure yeah the matches in the monthly league are extremely tough i i recall lucas uh saying that he won one less than half of the solves in the leo match yet he lost 16 to 2 yeah, and that's that's a little bit of match strategy there. I don't think Leo was caring so much about each individual solve. You know, he was going for those averages and right. he was completely dominating the averages. And and Luke, Lucas was just wow a five seventeen. Five seventeen. Jeez. Hard to beat that. Uh, and uh, and Lucas, you know, he was struggling with like a few bad times. He would get like an eight or counting high seven or counting eight, like every average. And I would kind of but then mess make him up. up a Make but, up for it with the four. But he, in this in this comp in this round so far, he's he seems seems to have resolved that issue, and 
he, he seems yeah, to be doing better, which is not great to see. I'm really happy to see it. He is solving very well right now. Luke is doing those uh, Rami Sabahi strats with the clapping. <laughs> yes, the clapping strats. Wow, Lucas is solving well Six, right five. now. That consistency, that TPS, that is great to see. So one bad solve here for a Luke, but of course he still has two good solves in this average, so I wouldn't count him out yet. Definitely. Not by a long shot in this average. Thanks, uh, thanks Ludwig. Appreciate that. Getting on with the fourth solve. We'll see. Wow. Ah. Man, that was a no, rough, that was, rough that was H a rough for Lucas me. and a plus two to go with oh, it. That hurts. Yeah, so if, if Luke gets a good solve here, we'll see. Uh, both of them will have one bad solve on the average, and it'll really be down to the last solve looks decent 739 i think i think lucas is gonna have a really easy win here yeah 719 yeah, 719, to 719 to lock that's that's not too hard for lucas um but uh it still leaves the door open and luke with yeah. that possible 658 average but uh he needs to get a good single here because lucas does have that 517 and at the very yeah. least he wants Which to actually... get, get that <laughs> Makes a sub six average still possible for him. Yeah, yeah. Well, not quite, but yeah. Nice. A 613 for Lucas. And Luke is going to need something clutch, but, you know, only white yellow doesn't find anything. A 676, still going to be a decent average, but he's going down 12 to 1 right now. Lucas with a 622 average. What's the score? And Lucas up 12 to 1. We are seeing a comeback right now by Lucas Edder losing those first two matches and just completely taking over right now. Yeah, Lucas has really gotten himself a commanding lead here. And that's, that's sort of the best case scenario for him, having lost the last two matches, just to come out and be so dominant right now. It's It's got to be sort of encouraging for him. Yeah, and his, his averages have been good as well. Like, even with the plus twos, still some low six averages. And a 5'11". Luke putting on that pressure, but I have a feeling Very this is a good solve. scramble. And that was a quick first two from Lucas. But oh, just a really unfortunate the last, last layer. layer wasn't as good. Well, uh, Lucas taking all four rounds so far, only giving up one point. And, uh, well, he can win the match here with a 3 0. So it's good. It's good for, uh, good for Luke to get that 5 11. That's putting a lot of pressure. Good insurance for him, but. Uh, he's going to want to win the average here and preferably get a 4-0 if he can. He's going to need to make the most of make the most of the next few averages because, of course, if Lucas wins this average, it's hard to see uh, yeah, much. I, I mean, it's pretty much over because then yeah. Luke only needs one point, which is like... Right. Luke, Lucas only needs one point, which is not hard. Well, there goes the 4-0, but... You know, Lucas seven seven fifteen, not putting as much pressure as he could have. Yeah, very true. Which means right now he's only got the six ninety to to bank on. Luke is solving a Mega Minx to warm up here. Maybe inspired by our host. <laughs> All 
Oh, uh, Luke getting 533. Very good solve. Okay, that that is putting him in a good spot and Luke is struggling yeah. with this one. Well, it looks like Luke is going to come back with an insane average. Yeah, well with yeah, with that <laughs> 533 and the 511, Luke is Luke is in the box seat to win this average, which is exactly what he needs at this time. Some very good sauce from Luke this time around. Throwing for content. You know, I don't think Luke is throwing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he's doing the opposite of throwing right now. A 632, very solid. Wow, Luke with an unfortunate last unfortunate layer case, last but layer still quit. with a 667. He's going to put him in a great, po a great position. He's already won the average, and he could get yeah, a is... sub-6 average here already with a single. So we're very likely going to see a 3-0 from Luke here. But uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what the what the result is of, uh, you know, the single. Yes, of course. I know you're just memeing. Throwing is always a meme, <laughs> except for when it's not. Except for when it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. That was pretty clutch by Luke. He's already won the average with one solve of spare. And Lucas oh, with a Lucas 484. Get your boom Tetris in chat for Lucas. That's his first Tetris of the Monkey That's, League yeah. in his third match. Uh, Luke with a sub-6 average. 599 is going to take that. <laughs> but Lucas with that but clutch Luke. 484 is going to get that one point. We have a 13-13 to -13 score line. And uh, Luke Greiser only getting two for the price of one. Whew. Wow, that, that last solve was big for both of them. Sub-6 average and a sub-5. Yeah, that was a crazy finish. Yeah, and like, like, like Lucas Luke mentioned. Luke is taking his time out. Wow, a sub-6 average. Luke Greiser. Like, like Lucas mentioned, that was his first, uh, his first Tetris of the, uh, of the Monkey League. He's been close a few times, that 5-0-2 against Matty, but... That one, just a very good yeah, solve. Yeah, and, and you could see he was very pumped about that. And it was actually very important for the scoreline, you know, yeah, getting that 5-11. So uh, we have a current timeout here. The current score is 13-3. to And uh, Luke just called a timeout, uh, you know, maybe trying to relax, maybe trying to get a banana for the, that nerve control. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if Lucas can close out this match. He obviously has a huge advantage right now. Yeah, um, it looks like he came into this match not joking around. He's here to win. Yeah, he's here to win, and, uh, looks like Luke is back with a banana. Yeah, with banana. Get your bananas in chat. Whew. Luke making note of the positive effects of bananas on uh yeah on, to hopefully uh, give nerve some control. energy and of course the monkey league we do love bananas this is content exactly exactly so much thank you so much to 365 of you here today really appreciate all the viewership thank you so much and in 29 cubes for the twitch prime sub five months really appreciate that your bananas is uh, even more ripe than it was last month um so uh yeah luke Luca uh, with the banana. Love to see that. Is he going to get another one? <laughs> uh, Dual looks like just throwing away the peel. Now I'll have to see how this timeout affects both of the competitors. Luke, of course, having called it. Uh, he's hoping that it'll get rid of some of the nerves and help him solve better, but uh, there's always a little bit of a risk that not solving for a few minutes, you get it sort of out of focus, and, and uh, but you know that's not what he needs right now. It's also possible that Luke is calling the timeout to get Lucas off form because Lucas gets that's better w staying warmed up. You know, yeah, and he's got a ten minute before. He's got a ten minute timeout here. 
He can take those 10 minutes. He can drink some chocolate milk. He can eat his banana. Yeah, and he can let can, but... Lucas cool off, and maybe he'll have a chance to come back. Seems unlikely, but in... a 599 average in the last round, I mean, it's very good. that's looking good for his chances. I actually think in Lucas's last match, the one against um, Matty, he said he was planning on taking a timeout after the average, and he yeah. got a very good, I think it was a 610. He said, I don't think I want to take the timeout anymore, but actually Matty called the timeout that time. Yeah, thank you so much for the tier one sub, uh, J Ro. Is it over? Really appreciate that. All right, well, Luke just taking a very quick time out to eat his banana. We're right back into it. Yeah, and uh, chocolate milk, uh, probably inspired by uh, an undisclosed source. Um, <laughs> whoa, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Evan Cubes, Langston Mandela. Really appreciate that. Uh, let's get that hype, straight, hype train started. Get some tier one subs in the chat and uh, some hype for Luke Kreiser here, who is... Uh, yeah, Luke getting started right away. He's... Ah, a few lockups there. Locky last layer, but a decent solve overall. He won't be particularly happy with it, but he's not going to be complaining too much either. It's sort of middle ground solve for him. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Luke saying he hates F perms. F. Yeah. Wow. 587. Woo, woo. You can see the expression on Luke's face there seeing another, yet another five. We saw a big exhale there from Lucas really trying to win this match right now. Yeah, and of course, if he wins this average, no matter what single Luke gets. Yeah, if, if that's Lucas the nice thing the about the giant lead he's got. All he has to do is win the average, and he wins the match regardless of the single. Uh, so, yeah. Taking a couple seconds to to focus up, and Lucas is starting. Oops. Well, Lucas leaving the door open, 662. Yeah. Uh, if Luke can really get something nice here. Yeah, again, not a disaster for Lucas, but not, not a perfect solve by any means. Yeah, and Luke with an even worse solve, 730. Yeah. Uh, so we could actually see a 4-0 here for Lucas to completely yeah, ruin still on his the ego. Table. Uh, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how this closes out, but looks like Lucas, I mean, he's he's really got the advantage here. Let's get a hype train going in chat. Uh, yeah, it's close interesting out to match. see. It's a short match, but uh, just pure dominance by Lucas. Really, really impressive. Yeah, even that last solve looked like there were some pauses and some lockups, yet it's still a mid six. That just yeah. goes to show how fast he can turn. Yeah, his turning has been excellent today and and you know, he he did request to reschedule this match because of the cubing at home competition that happened last uh Saturday. And a five there we go. one another five. Lucas Etter is coming with the heat. It's just so difficult to beat solves like that. Wow. That nice ZB. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Lucas was not having this 0-2 record. He's ready to get yeah, his first he, win. Yeah, he's ready to... And, of course, he, he has unfortunately lost two matches, but solving like this, he could, he could beat just about anyone. Yeah, and uh, he's still got a chance, theoretically, if he was able... To uh, win his last couple matches, he needs to beat Luke here, beat Bill, and then beat Timon. If he can beat yeah. Timon and Bill, he would qualify for the grand finals. Uh, tall order, but you know. Tall order, yeah. Yeah. But of course, it, if he wins this average, he'll win the match, and he's going to take some good things away from this match, some uh, encouraging solves for sure. And I think Lucas has got it. That's the match. Yeah, 661. Unless Luke can get some, like, two-second solves here, that's going to be the match. Lucas Etter 
wins his first match of the Monkey League. It's going to be a scoreline of 15 points to something else, and uh, huge congratulations. Let's see how Lucas can finish this off. He has a 603 yeah, best possible. Maybe that would put him at an insanely good median average for the match. Maybe even a, a second Tetris for the match. We'll have to see. But uh, come on, get a sub five. Luke, Let's go. Luke, of course, disappointed to lose the match, but he did. He has had some good solves. He got that, that five ninety nine average. average is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas turning very quickly here. Yeah, some lockups. Some lockups. So yeah. The seven, yeah, well. GG. 637, 637 average, average, and Lucas is going to take average. that 3-0, winning the match 16-3. to What a crazy dominant performance by Lucas Etter. Wow. 16-3. to yeah, he crushed he, he crushed Luke just as about as badly as he got crushed by Leo. The tree has large depth and... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, Jason, <laughs> a great, a great match. <laughs> yeah, he did not come into this match looking to mess around. He came right away with some, a little bit of a slow start, but he won those those averages, and then it just got faster and faster. Luke, Luke had a very good average to keep him in the match with that, uh, with that five ninety nine. But of course, that's the average that Lucas got that four to, uh, just. Pour you know, a little and, bit of salt in the wound. And, and an extra storyline here, you know, uh, Lucas versus Luke, the two Kentucky Cubers. Lucas is not having any of this Kentucky challenger. He's saying that he's by far the best Kentucky Cuber, showing that dominance today. Luke with that 599 average, showing some promise for the future for sure, but Lucas's experience just completely won out here, uh, you know, Starting off slow, but just a little bit faster than Luke, and it just carried through the entire match. Uh, Lucas, are you are you there? Can you uh, can you hear yeah, me? I can hear you. You can hear me. Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. How how did you feel about the match? You know, I I thought you did amazing. Yeah, I was pretty much locked in the entire time. Like I didn't even want to move during the timeout because I was just in flow state. You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh... I don't know exactly what your median average was, but it seems like you solved this this match the best of any of the matches you've done so far. Yeah, I agree. And I got Espe a four. Especially in the second half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got four a four. Was very nice. Getting that four is key. Mm -hmm. um, Luke, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but... I can. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, Luke, you know, you got a 599 average, which is the fastest I've seen from you. Uh, so... Congrats on that, uh, but you did get wrecked in this match. Uh, how do you feel about your performance? Uh, you know, uh, you seemed like you got off to a really slow start. What was going on there? Uh, I had just gotten back from basketball practice, so I wasn't warmed up at all. And possibly Critical tired mistake. from all those activities, maybe. <laughs> Critical mistake. Well, there you go. Uh, I would just like to say I got the most uh, sub Kentucky record averages. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> there you go. With one. <laughs> uh, I got the most sub Kentucky record single. So oh, true. We're tied true. there. <laughs> true. Yeah, and Lucas actually, I I believe does have both the Kentucky single and average officially. So. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much, guys. That was great. Thanks for commentating with me, Jason. Uh, you know, Kentucky, uh, Cubers, Ohio commentary. We'll have to re renew this rivalry at some point. But for now, we hope you enjoyed uh, yeah, Lucas's yeah. Lucas's excellent solving today, and and you know, Luke's sporadic excellence. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Really appreciate 384 viewers, dude. I really appreciate the viewership, guys. If you want to check out more information about the Monkey League, it's at laserzeromonkey.com. Uh, the current prize pool is $1,208. You can donate to that at the Streamlabs link uh, in the chat. And um, our next match is going to be tomorrow. Uh, what's our match tomorrow? It's Bill versus Maddie, I think. So Bill Wang versus Maddie Hiroto Inaba is tomorrow, July 3rd at 6 p.m.? I think it's at 6 p.m. And... And uh, the match after that, you guys will not want to miss. Okay? You will, 
okay sorry guys sorry for the echo i'll turn uh turn them off um Tough you will not want to coming up you will not want to miss this upcoming match team on versus leo is coming up on july 5th at 10 a.m eastern time you will not want to miss it it's gonna be a fantastic match i can't wait to see how it goes uh, you know both competitors with a 2-0 record completely dominating their opponents it'll be interesting how to see how they do against each other okay thank you so much everyone really appreciate all the support um I'm gonna raid somebody okay uh, yeah and of course the viewership is always appreciated because the viewership is sort of what makes these things possible yeah and uh you know uh without without you guys we can't we can't host these matches uh okay See you later.